Morning hours and Isri residents were collecting from Sunday's matter to blast that left seven people dead and over 30 injured. But it was the proverbial calm before the storm. Within no time, fierce results erupted, turning some sections of Isli into no-go zones. Barely 24 hours after the blast, tension in Isri remains high, with Madara residents claiming that the Somalis have killed one of their own. Kuna mtu nasikia likata kata wanapanga, sasa vijana wa hiyeri ya wakashika moto jireo manano. Wakaku, wakaleta vita. Sasa kukuleta vita na hawa kona mapanga, sasa ikakuwa ni ho. Lakini mandugu zetu, wame kuja kuanza kutupiga. Dadangu wame wawa sasa hivu. Mina shanga, serekari yuko hapi. Mimi na umwa. Ya kwamba serekari ya Kenya, kibaki ya mekubalia. Watu wanatuka inje, wana kuja kunyanyasa wa islamu wa Kenya. Hime kuwaji wame chukua hivu. It took the intervention of the police to rescue families that had sought shelter from angry youths who stormed into mosques and residential houses, all in the name of flushing out the members of the Somali community. We are so much in danger, yeah, because this place was the place where the, all the Oriyas were staying in. So they think Oriya is Al Shabab, yeah, and our office is also here as Kemri CDC. We are so much in danger. We only need to be rescued from you. Tumejificha kwa nyumba, wametufata. Tumejificha kwa msikiti, wametuingilia kwa msikiti. Eh? Msikiti wanakojoa ndani ya msikiti. Is that fair, my friend? Youths from Madare claim that the Somali community is behind the Matatu Blast on Sunday and two others that have rocked the neighborhood in recent times. Kuna possibility, wale wale ile target ilikuwa tuli, Kenyans, you know you are? Eh? As in, if you traffic a Juja road, you end the end end up, you know you are? From here, akuna, akuna wa Somali wengi wanaishi mko. Eh. Wa Somali wengi wanaishi kutanda hii. You know you are? But the Somali community is aggrieved that they have uniformly been branded as terrorists and have challenged the government to show nationalism and accord them protection. Hawa wana intention mbaa. Intention yao ni moja. Kwa saizi, unambawa mlango kubwa wale watu wa mlango kubwa. Na pia wale wa madhari. Wameungana. Hawa ni kukuja tu kufanya kuidia isili. Hakuna kitu ingine kwa zi isili. Kuna biyashara kubwa inaendelea. Watu wa Somali wana maduka. Watu wanafanya biyashara hao. Sae buangalia sae tuko na, tuko na civilians ambaye siwa Somali. Tunakana hao vizuri. At a press conference in the office of the Nairobi Provincial Commissioner, both Kamokonji and Starahe members of parliament condemned the violence. Both said it was unlawful to target one community and called on any aggrieved party to report their case to the police. If the police can have that information, then now we, we can demand that the police arrest those people. But for the Kenyans to go out to themselves, and especially <clears throat> people from both constituencies, Kamkunji and Starehe, to go out themselves and try to say we know where the criminals live, so we are going to arrest them for ourselves, that is not right. Because the purpose of any terrorist attack is to cause fear, to cause discord, and to create conflict. And in fact, if... Um, some elements in our society want to take the law into their hands, attack their neighbors. This is exactly what this terrorist wanted. The MPs regretted that several people have died and women raped as a result of the violence. Five other people have been arrested today in an attempt where well, they were attempting to loot you know, businesses, uh, particularly along Juja Road. So those are the arrests that have so far been made. They are the police custody. Unconfirmed reports say that all public service vehicles plying Route 28 and 9 are not rendering services to any Kenya Somalis. More security personnel have been deployed to the area as tension remains high. Henry Miner, GBS News.